With the patient sitting, we can now do a dermatonal assessment for the upper extremities. We're going to utilize a brush as it's far more consistent than actually using the pressure of your hands, which can interfere with your results. We're going to go ahead and give an example to this to the patient, our lower extremities, so it's not interrupting the upper extremity test that we're about to perform. I would have the patient assess whether she feels that and that as being the same, being different, or not feeling it at all. I'm going to have her close her eyes, and we're going to go through our progressions. This and this. Same. Here. Here. Same. That would be our complete dermatonal assessment of the upper extremity.